Hey guys, this is a Gusman Bro, and today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how fast CenturyLink gigabit internet is. To prove to you guys that I actually have it, here's my router homepage. Um, I'll refresh it, see up there. Still 1000, 1000 symmetrical gigabit. So on the speed tests, usually it doesn't actually get a thousand. I'll like to see here, like it's 600, 700. Uh, it fluctuates quite a bit. And the upload is usually never close to a thousand. Yeah, like here it's only 200. Yep, and then this stuff happens. All right, so in actual use, how fast is it? So we're gonna download a Steam game and I'm gonna download it. So it's gonna take 20 minutes at two megabytes and technically, theoretically, I should have about 120 megabytes per second at 1000 megabits per second. Let's install it here. All right, and we're gonna go to downloads. You might be thinking to yourself, why isn't it anywhere close to 120 megabytes? Well, when you actually download games, really your hard drive is your bottleneck. So I'm not downloading it to my SSD, which would, would go faster, but as you can see, my hard drive is maxing out and it's only at 14 megabits per second. So that's really as fast as you can go and I'm not even using like nearly at all, all of my bandwidth. Of course, general surfing is super fast, lightning quick, you can click something, it loads instantly. Like do a Google search for Gus and see 0.89 seconds. I mean, obviously that's as fast as Google can go. Yeah, so while I'm downloading the game, I still have plenty of bandwidth left. You can see it's still 400, 300 megabits. And we're still going strong over here. And actually, my house came pre-wired for a gigabit, so it's only $65 a month right now, and that's actually a really good deal compared to other providers for different speeds. So Gary's Mod ended up downloading in less than five minutes. Um, it's, of course, it's only 2.2 gigabytes, but bigger games like GTA 5 or Far Cry, whatever, um, those will download in less than an hour. So in conclusion, if it's available in your area for a reasonable price and installation price is reasonable, then go ahead and do it. It's super fast and you can do whatever you want. But unless you have a super high-end storage solution, then your hard drive is going to be your biggest bottleneck.